So shit Charizard. Golduck, which I know nothing about. And what was the lead? Shit Zatu. I'm not taking any of those either. Flying again! Yeah, no, I'm not taking any of those. No, I'm up to 47 now. I like how after taking these pokes and being like, this is such a shit team, I haven't traded once. Articuno. Wow, only one Articuno lives overheat. So I think just overheat. Like sure, if it's if it's the water set, going sunny day makes sense. But if it's a dragon dance set, I think I have the sunny day. Straight to Earthquake. I think that's set three. I don't think it's set four. No, I actually think I can switch to Executor and just win. Because if it is set 3 like I think it is, its attacking moves are Surf, Thunder, and Earthquake. All of which do fuck all to Exeggutor. I could just Giga Drain back that much. Okay. Okay, so Sun's been up for one turn. Two, three. I actually don't want to Giga Drain. Because I want to go Psychic, Psychic, and two hit it. 
so the sun will still be up for one turn and then I can explode on the last. Whereas if I use Giga Drain, it'll take three hits to kill and then the sun will go down when the last poke comes out. Psychic will kill, but now I'm not sure if it's the right play. Nah, it is, because Rain Surf would do more than I'd heal with Giga Drain, and Giga Drain's not going to kill there. AI can switch, but it requires a really specific scenario. <clears throat> like, they won't predict a move to switch. They'll do it in a scenario where it's like they see a move. Like, if you use Earthquake and then they want to switch to a Pokemon with Levitate or whatever that's good against the Pokemon that you're using. They'll wait until you use Earthquake before switching. Or in a scenario where they can't do damage. Well, I'm definitely clicking Explosion. Shit! Come on, tank it. Mm, that ain't good. Dragonite has Ice Beam. There are so many Dragonites, and I'm not familiar with like any of them because they don't show up until set 5. But I think there's 10? Yeah, there's 10. Seven. Seven and eight both have Ice Beam. They're the only ones. So unlucky that I got Ice Beam there. Okay, so Ice Beam won't kill Aerodactyl. Double Edge is a range to two hit. And then if it doesn't, I can kill with Rapidash. I mean, Surf or Thunderbolt isn't going to be more than Ice Beam. <laughs> They're all the same power. Oh yeah, it's raining. Ah, uh, it's raining! How many turns of rain is there? It was just surf. So that was two. So there's still two more turns of 
of rain, so even if I was playing against rain, if I went Rapidash, to get rid of it I'd have to Sunny Day. And then I'm still banking on the range from Aerodactyl, which is less than 50-50. Hypnosis might actually be the percentage play. Because if I go Aerodactyl and it's 7, then Rapidash has to do like 50%. So that'd need Hypnosis. Hypnosis hit and not instant wake up. Actually, no, it might still be Aerodactyl. Because if I'm banking on Hypnosis Hit... Think of it this way, if it's 8 and I go Aerodactyl, I win. Without, you know, a crit or something. So that's at least 50%, and if it's 7, I go Aerodactyl. I win if I get Hypnosis hit and it doesn't instant wake up. But if I go Rapidash... And it's 8. And I go Hypnosis miss, I would lose. I would lose either way on Hypnosis miss. But I would win either way on Hypnosis hit. On Hypnosis miss and miss the range, so that's about 30%. Whereas Hypnosis hit and not instant wake up. I reckon that's more than 2 in... Th uh, more than 40%, which is what it would need to make up that 30%. I actually think Aerodactyl is the better play. And if it's 7 then Hypnosis. Yeah, percentage wise I'm pretty sure this is better. Okay, good. It's not Surf. Oh, it's got Shell Bell. Well, I'm not getting this range then, am I? But that's fine, I wasn't likely to get that range anyway. No, dude! Why? Why? Well, that's a shame. On the bright side, got to 47. 
All right.